welcome back to the back nine of the Laguna National. So now we've got an excellent front nine. We are two under now and we've left nine more holes to go. Can we actually keep this up? Can we go lower? Or everything is going to go downhill from here? So let's start. I hit a draw as this hole is kind of dog leg left and you want to be center or right side of this fairway to keep your ball in play. And now for my second shot, the pin is actually tucked back right and I just want to put my ball either center or center left because it kind of suits my shape with the draw. So with 125 meters, a 9 iron, I would say maybe a 3 quarter 9 iron would get me there. So now I'm left with maybe a 30-ish putt. Um, my intention was going for a birdie, but a 2-putt will be good too. So we've got par on the 10th hole, and we're moving on to the 11th hole at 2 under. So this par 5, there's danger on the left side. And you do really want to put your ball in the center, or if you want to miss it, it's on the right side. So I've chosen to go with the draw, and uh, my aim is center right of the fairway. So my next plan would be to actually lay this up and get this close enough just before the water on the right. So a 4 iron, a punch 4 iron or a smooth 4 iron will get me down the centre and maybe left me with about 60-ish, 50-ish metre to the green. Now from this distance, with the pin in front, I'll be okay if the ball just comes up a little bit short or left and confidently I think I can put this ball close enough and give myself a very good body look. So I'm going to capitalize on this part and the ball finds the end of the cup. Alright, we are 3 under. Moving on to the difficult 12th hole. On the 12th hole, it's a long par 3, it's carry all the way. I've got a 4 iron and the plan is to start right of the bunker and draw it back. And that's one place you don't want to miss, on the right side of the green. Yep, it's in the water. I may seem calm, but this is how I actually feel. Okay, oh no! God! No! God! Please! No! No! I know. I made a mistake. And now I could stare at a possible bogey or double bogey. So what we can do now is to stay calm and look what's ahead. So I just got to get this close enough. One part for bogey. And then we're still in the game. With this shot, I got myself to about 9 feet, 10 feet. And I think it's a makeable part. I was confident about this part and I'm pretty sure I can make this part. Left leap and hit this foam. And it was the wrong line. So double bogey and we're moving on to the next hole at one under. So we've got a bad hole, moving on to the next hole we've got water on the right, trouble on the left and I've got a choice to hit a driver, smack it as far as I can, maybe vent my anger or recollect myself again, get the 3 iron and just knock this down the centre of the ferry and get myself a par and bring my confidence back. On this second shot, there's water all on the right side. The pin is tucked back left. So with 153 meters to the pin, I've chosen to hit a knockdown 7. 
keep this ball in the middle of the green, two part, and move on to the next hole in one piece. So I struck this just a little bit too strong and this is kind of a tricky part. It's a downhill and a big swinging right to left. So in my mind, I just want to get this as close as possible and leave myself lesser than 5 feet. So this is going to be a testy part. Thank goodness it sank and went into the cup and we're on to hole 14. Hole 14, 445, 7 yards, par 4. You want to hit this down the center or the center right of the ferry. So this ferry generally when you're on the ferry or even when you're off the ferry, you will leave yourself an uneven line. Basically the ball will be above your feet. So in my case, I've got 135 meters. It's uh, the ball's above my feet. So I've chosen to hit a knockdown nine iron, uh, put it at the back of my stance and let it come out low and have it run towards the green. I think I didn't hit this too well, but on the good side, I topped it. So at least there was some distance in it. And I left myself with, I would say maybe a 15 meter chip shot. And I was really going for the hole. I was opting to chip this in with a 54 degree, land it in the front of the green and let it chase up towards the hole. A par is great here. And let's move on to the next hole. Hole 15 is a par 5 at 558 yards. So it was, uh, it was a headwind and this hole plays a bit longer. My strategy was to aim this down the right side and have the ball draw back to the center. By the looks of it, I think I'm going to be in trouble. So I have to pull out my punch out shot. I've got a 5 iron and I opt to aim into the narrowest path of the trees. I'm not sure why. Maybe I was just greedy. I struck it well, but unfortunately it went a bit higher than I wanted it to be. Hit the tree and got myself back onto the ferry. So with the third shot, 185 meters, I was just trying to smash the 4 iron and let it chase up to the side of the green and hopefully get it up and down for par. The plan is to chase it up because it's downhill after the front part of the green. But the green, but the ball just checked up really quickly on the green. And now I'm left with a really testy part for par. I'll take the bogey and we're moving on to the next hole. And now we are even par. So this last stretch of three holes, 16, 17, 18, these are actually really good holes. You want to do well with these three holes because you can either do really well or do really bad. So for this par four, there's bunker on the left side of the ferry. I was opting to fade it back to the ferry to the right side, starting from the left side of the trees. But I pulled this and the ball actually went to the left side of the other ferry. I just hope that I have a good look to the green, so at least I can just put these two on. I do have a good look, it's a 6 iron, and I smash this right down the center and to the heart of the green. To my surprise, this ball actually landed pretty close to the hole, and now I've got a chance to go back to the red numbers. Hole 17, I would say this would be the scariest par 3 in the whole entire course. It's all carry. Uh, there's very little villa area. There is one on the left side, but it's really small. There are bunkers there as well. And we are playing a uh, slight follow wind. I've got a 5 iron in my hand and the pin is on the front part of the green. I was just hoping for the ball to land on the green and be safe.
And now we've got a birdie part. Well, what do you know? Underread it just a little bit. But the par is still good. So I've, I've escaped hole 16, hole 17, and now we've got hole 18. So honestly, I'm walking up to this hole. Uh, as you can see at the tee box, it has a really good view. We are surrounded by water. And the view from the tee box towards the hole is does look really challenging. And the strategy would be to put this ball on the fairway. Uh, I was hoping, or actually I was aiming for the bunker, right of the trees, and opt for the ball to draw back to the center. Keeping the ball in play would be really crucial for this last hole. The ball kind of stayed straight and did not come back and it was heading for the trees. I bet this scenario is kind of familiar to most golfers and it's the same for me as well. I just want to get the ball back in play and have a good chance to get up and down for par. So with a 7 iron, my plan was to get it low below the trees. But unfortunately, it clipped the tip of the trees and the ball dropped to the fairway with 50 meters their green. And I would say the best scenario here for me would be an up and down par. And the worst would be up and two parts for bogey. But we'll still do our best and get our par. So now we are left with a really testy, I would say an outside chance, 15 feet, maybe 20 feet for birdie. Can we get this in? Go home with the par? Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching this round as much as I've played it. It was a roller coaster round, but it was really fun. I look forward to see you guys in the next course vlog. Bye bye.